First, there was the trumpet, because people have known for centuries how to make sound by blowing into a tube. Then the slide trumpet was developed, because valves lay far in the future, and no one had figured out how to adjust the tone with just the mouthpiece. Over time, the slide trumpet evolved into the trombone that we know today. However, in the Middle Ages, the instrument first became known by its French name, which used the French words for push and pull, for obvious reasons. When the instrument came to England, they anglicized the French name, and we all know what happens when something gets anglicized. The result was that for several centuries, the instrument was known as the sackbutt, because this was Renaissance England, no one seemed to notice the incongruity of the name. All the best churches and cathedrals had a group of sackbutt players, known as a sackbuttocks. This was usually a quartet or trio to accompany the choir on Sunday. Traditionally, they would perform in an alcove near the rectory. Composers wrote concertos and quartets for the sackbutt. Most famous was the composer Aeneas of Sharman, who traveled around England and, after spending some months among the English, wrote Breaking the Wind, a piece for Sackbutt and Timpani, before fleeing to France. Undeterred, musicians throughout England would brag about being a professional Sackbutt player or a virtuoso on the Sackbutt. It is said that the Scots invented the bagpipe simply an attempt to overcome the acclaim awarded the sackbutt. Royal command performances were ordered, and the musicians happily answered the call with, Yes, Your Majesty, I would be honored to play with my sackbutt for your entertainment. This set the tone for several centuries of royal elegance. But all good things must come to an end. During the 19th century, Queen Victoria was not amused by the sackbutt, nor all that was implied. Players were forced to ply their trade underground for some years and only refer to their instrument obliquely. As a result, the name trombone eventually won out, much to the dismay of eight-year-olds throughout England and North America.